today we're just outside Colville, a little distance inland from Sword Beach, and we're here to explore a German fortification that was going to be especially difficult for the British to attack on D-Day. So today we're at the Hillman Fortress and that name comes from the nickname that the British gave this German defensive position. Uh, the hill that we're on here was codenamed Hill 61 uh, and the fortress itself was codenamed Hillman. For the Germans this was Widerstand Nest 17, a short distance away from Sword Beach. So where we've come into the complex here is actually uh, the kind of back end of the complex. And this is almost the sort of main shelter. So this would have been used as a uh, protective store for uh, vehicles, uh, ammunition, guns, uh, and, and men as well, I'm sure. Um, but this is a kind of a big bunker right at the back. Uh, from here, we will walk through and up towards the kind of more sort of defensive armed positions at the front. Um, but this is where you, if you visit here, this is where you tend to kind of walk in. They have the memorial and stuff here. Um, this is the, the main kind of bunker that's at the back, uh, which is described on the information plaque here as like the storage bunker. So the Hillman Fortress here was under the command of Colonel Ludwig Krug, uh, and he had with him 150 officers and men of the 336th uh, Grenadier Regiment, and they were here to defend uh, this position. Um, for them, again, as I said, it was Widerstand Nest 17, uh, Hillman Fortress, uh, or Hill 61 for the British who were attacking this position right here. So as you come up the steps here, uh, away from that initial position, which is behind me down there, uh, you move forwards and you can then see how this really opens up. And we're gonna head over in this direction towards the front of the position. But the Hillman Fortress here uh, took the entire perimeter of this hill. So all that we can see in the background where these vehicles are and all the way across, this really was a big site here. And there are a lot of defensive positions for us to go and explore, which I'm pretty excited about. So where we've come through to now, and the wind noise here is, is pretty strong, so I'm hoping it's going to be all right for you guys, but where we've come through to is kind of not, not quite the front of the position, but further out. And from here, behind me, you can actually see the view uh, towards the coastline. So the coast and, and Sword Beach is in that direction, and you can see the very commanding view um, that the German defenders here had overseeing this entire area. Um, all the way down towards the coast. I mean, I can just about see the sea um, further out in the distance ahead of me there. Okay, so as we're moving out towards the front of the position here, this little feature here, uh, kind of like a trench that runs underneath this um, sort of platform here. So this was created by the Germans to allow movement of vehicles uh, over this trench. So look, we're not gonna have a trench like this and not go for a little explore. So let's see what's going on down here. Oh, it's a little low. I'm having to duck slightly to get through, but it's not so bad. So as we come out the front of this position, this is gonna be the view that we get towards the coastline. And from here, we have kind of the perimeter of this position went sort of all the way around the edge here, but we've got some proper defensive structures that we are gonna go check out over here. So I mentioned Colonel Ludwig Krug before, uh, who was the commander here, the German commander. Well, this structure behind us right here is actually his command post. I'm gonna go and have a look. I'm hoping we can, we can get into some of it, but uh, you can see why this would be a good command post. It has a really solid view here um, across towards the coastline. There's like this kind of machine gun post behind me. In fact, there's another one of those. I don't know if you guys can quite see it. It's maybe over the ridge behind us but some good sort of solid views here and some really strong defensive positions as well. So let's go have a look and see if we can get inside. Okay, so I need to be a little careful of these stairs here. I 
Oh wow, okay, this goes, this is a lot lower down than I thought it was going to be from the top. Oh, there's an awful lot of bees and wasps here. I'm not allergic, but let's just be careful of those. So, oh wow, okay. So, it's the light for you guys, okay. So as you come down here, you can see, so at the end there is like a machine gun port that, that faces out towards us, which I guess would have defended this access route. I don't know if all these entrances are open. These ones here are caged off. Let me see if you guys can see in there. Let's go have a look down the end here. Some kind of like boiler or something in there, I guess. And then Okay, yeah, that's closed off too. But there, so you guys can see this one. So this would be a defensive port, so like looking out towards us here to defend the route down behind us. If you had enemy who get in this close to this bunker, as of course they eventually did. If you had a machine gun in that port, you can see the view that it would have had down there. Wow. Unfortunately, these gates all seem to be closed, so I don't know if we can get into them. But we're gonna have a look okay we found one that's open this looks very tight though but don't worry i'm gonna try this for you guys let's go oh man okay oh cool okay so here we have like a we've come out into like a tobruk oh wow you can see this would be a really strong position right you see the view you get from here that's where it's been very well defended if you needed to wow oh i just did a jd special and bumped my head just were so the this is the command post over here um, and then over on this side we've got this like defensive kind of turret now uh, I think or at least I'm it must be uh, that that bunker that we can't get into would lead underground below us here to this point here I don't know if it was big enough that it would lead to the other one I can see down here um, but this one certainly and again this is just a bit further forwards and this one is so reinforced it's like really kind of heavy thick metal and again just gives that view down towards the coast so you really could have seen the uh the attackers coming across here the thing that's great about this site if you come here is all of the different kind of areas of it have these uh like information posts that tell you what each different section of the complex here was now this was the guard house now what you might not be able to see uh, is the main road uh, from Colville runs behind this kind of hedgerow and goes up uh, in the direction of Can here. So down here was one of the main guard posts to stop and advance coming from along that road. Now, not been down there yet, but I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of defensive position that oversees the road. Um, if there is, which I suspect there is, I might try and walk around on the outside so we can have a look at it as well. But let's venture down here and have a look first. Okay, so we have another fairly steep a narrow set of stairs but we're going to go down here and see what we can see so this one is whoa, butterflies there's loads and loads of bees and wasps around all of these bunkers I'm, <laughs> I'm nervous I've been stung a lot of times and luckily I'm not allergic but it doesn't mean that I want to deal with it for, for no reason oh okay this one's open well that's exciting okay and it's very spooky <laughs> right let me see if i can get a light on so we can get in there and have a look that's the stair we're coming down the other side so that's there and then this is where we just came down right now but come on guys let's brave this let's go have a look inside this bunker okay we've seen enough bees and wasps i'm hoping i'm not going to run into like a bear or something 
there's an even darker door over there. Man, this is scary. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, the scary room is just a room. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see any of this, but what you will be able to see is this right here. So this is the defensive position that goes up a ladder that would have overseen the road. Now, I can't climb up there, but I might be able to go around and have a look at it from the outside. Let's go see what we can see. Okay, so I'm not going to pretend that one freaked the heck out of me <laughs> going in there. That was really dark and spooky. Right, we're coming up the other side now. Um, the road is literally, so the road is just on the other side of here. Um, I think we might, we might be able to see where that kind of post came out from. Let's go have a look. If we walk across here. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, okay. So. Okay, wow, so that hole comes up a lot higher up than I thought it did. Um, so I guess it would have been up here, then there probably would have been a gun position or something here which would have overseen the road. Because if you have a look, the road is, you can see the road just behind me here. This is the road. And this is where that position came out from right here. So you can see this is where that hole came out from. And you can see the ladder runs all the way down there. And it goes down pretty pretty far right wow and you can see where we are here so for for our kind of reference um, over like uh, kind of over here by this hedgerow that's where the command post was so you can see how much further forwards we are uh, than where we were before So another few steps forwards and another bunker and this one apparently so this one was the cookhouse where they stored like supplies and and apparently cooked the food i don't know how much we're going to be able to get in here but let's go have a look oh okay this one already i can see has massive bars across so maybe we can't get in there no we can't but i don't know if you guys can see oh yeah you can see a bit there's like a bench in there wow Let's see if we can get in down this one. Ah, this has got bars across too. Okay. Some pictures here, I don't know. There's nothing to say what the pictures are, but something, oh, okay. Guess that references what it would have been set up as. Um, and I don't know who this is in this picture. That's, oh, that's really dark in that one. And as we come through this side, maybe uh, by the looks of the top here I imagine this probably had some kind of covering over it perhaps a roof so maybe this would have been like a storage supply area oh, and as you come around here you can see where the road was so this is the road so this is the the Colville road I was talking about so this is the main road that comes up so saw beach in this direction uh, can along here in this direction uh, so this just down here on the left about where the tree is that's where the defensive position was that would have overlooked this road to stop advances along there. Something quite cool here, they've got these, um, these would have been beach defences, so it's unlikely that these would have actually been here on this complex. A lot of these look like beach defences that probably have been bought inland. These probably would have been positioned on Sword Beach. I'm assuming that I don't actually know that for a fact, but I would guess probably these were from Sword Beach and have been bought inland here as part of the kind of display that they've got set up. Not really relevant to my video, but something's quite interesting. They're setting up here. So today is the uh, 1st of June and from the uh, 3rd to the 6th, 6th being the anniversary of D-Day, they're doing like a big reenactment here. Um, so they're setting all that up today. So I've had a big audience watching me film my video, <laughs> which is um, pretty awkward if you're a guy like me, but hey, I've cracked on and been brave and <laughs> done it anyway. 
So the 1st Suffolk Regiment attacked this position here on D-Day. Uh, it would actually take them 24 hours until the morning of the 7th of June to capture this position because of how well it was defended. In doing so, they had uh, two officers and another five men killed, along with a further 24 wounded. It's widely understood or widely believed that 24-hour delay of capturing this position here at Hillman was the main driving force behind the Suffolks being unable to capture their objective on D-Day, which was Khan further along up the road here, away from Sword Beach. Hope you guys found this one interesting. This is a really cool site and when I first came to Normandy uh, this was a site we kind of visited just by chance and my observation is that this is a really kind of under visited site. It's really interesting. You can get into bunkers and explore around and see how a defensive position was set up. So if you're in Normandy and especially the Sword Beach area of Normandy I really recommend coming here and visiting Hillman Bunker. Thanks for watching.